Boom, what's going on everyone? It's Steve Larson, this is Sales Funnel Radio, and today I'm gonna to teach you guys about cash-causing frameworks. I've spent the last four years learning from the most brilliant marketers today, and now I've left my nine to five to take the plunge and build my million dollar business. The real question is, how will I do it without VC funding or debt, completely from scratch? This podcast is here to give you the answer. Join me and follow along as I learn, apply, and share marketing strategies to grow my online business using only today's best internet sales funnels. My name is Steve Larson, and welcome to Sales Funnel Radio. What's up, guys? Hey, I'm excited for today. Uh, this is an episode I actually ripped as from a Facebook Live. I did it off the whim, but it ended up being really, really awesome. <laughs> and uh, and I was just doing it to the group, the Science of Selling Online. If you're not part of that group, it's a free group. That's where I just kind of can geek out a lot of times. So if you like this stuff, there's more of that on that group. Um, so anyway, uh, anyway, so I, saw, I I went live and. I want people to understand, someone, a lot of people ask me things like, well, Steven, how do you know this is gonna work? Well, Steven, it seems like you're able to know a little bit, not that you can predict the future, and I'm never, you know, but like that you understand like what the numbers will most likely be and where kind of success will kind of come out of before you go do it. And I'm like, well, yeah, it's because I'm just following the framework. And so what I wanna do is I just riffed a little bit here so you guys understand. I made the decision uh, early on. I remember, I remember kind of where I was. I actually, there was a lot of, there was a lot of colleagues of mine in college that were studying different areas, you know, and they're like, I'm going to study marketing or study this or study that or study supply chain or systems or whatever. And I remember thinking to myself, I want to go. I wrote this down, guys. This was an actual goal of mine like five, six years ago. I wanted to learn how to be a consultant to small businesses, okay? And I wanted to learn, uh, I wanted to start businesses and sell businesses. Guys, it is hilarious to me that I'm doing that now, and which is crazy. And I realized though that the talent and the skill that I wanted to learn was I wanted to learn how to make it rain in a company. And that's what this episode is about. And this, that's what this episode is gonna teach you. I went in and uh, there's a very specific method that I have used to do that, okay? And I know what it is. It has not been an accident, okay? I did a lot of making accidents and mistakes and areas. It's not that I don't anymore, but man, I know why it's working, okay? This episode will teach you why that is. It's one of the biggest gifts I can give you. Thank you so much for being a follower. Let's cut over to that now. If you guys did like it, again, please rate and subscribe. That really means a lot to me. I love reading those ratings. Actually, make my day, so it means a lot. Anyways, guys, thanks so much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. This has been... Um, Th th this is life-changing stuff right here. And I hope that you do what I did. It takes it, take it seriously and write down what it is you wanna do, okay? I wanted to learn how to make it rain in a company. Wrote it down, right? And, and you have to do that part of it. Anyways, um, this is how it's all happened. Thanks, let's cut over. What's up, my friends? How you guys doing? If you guys are just barely getting on. Uh, I haven't done Facebook Live in the group here for a little bit. We have grown since I last went on from like 2,200 members, we're almost at 4,000. It's crazy, so welcome. And uh, real quick, I just wanna teach you guys some cool stuff on why uh, my stuff works so well and why I can see other people's don't. I'm just gonna be honest about it, okay? That's cool. Give me a little hashtag replay though if you guys are brand new in here and you guys are just barely getting in. If you guys are live though, uh, welcome, welcome. What's up? Just chilling to the song again. Man, I freaking love it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey guys, so I just I've been doing a lot of um, <clears throat> been doing a lot of Facebook lives. I've been doing a lot of training in, in, in general. Um, I did uh, yesterday. I did two back to back webinars. Yesterday was two back to back webinars, which in ClickFunnels, which is a ton of energy to see you if you've never done that. Um, it's hard to just do one, and if you do them right, like I'm not gonna lie, like it's gonna sound gross, but I'm like sweating. I'm exhausted. It just on one, two of them back to back, like is murder, it's absolutely murder. I was talking to one of my friends, uh, Dave Linnebaum, it's funny, he's like, yeah, two suck. He's like, I've done three. He's like, I would not wish that on my worst enemy. <laughs> you are so wrecked by the end. But it was two back to back webinars yesterday and the one funnel away challenge, which was, um, uh, so anyways, I was, I was spent. I was absolutely spent by the, by the time I went to sleep, it was like 1 a.m. Anyway, so I, um, guys, real quick, I just wanted to walk through a principle here and I, I know it's the reason why I'm succeeding in this stuff. And this might sound weird for me to say that. Might sound weird for me to go ahead and, and teach it. But anyway, uh, I just want you guys, is it cool if I go through that a little bit? We all got thick skin on here. I can just kind of say what, what needs to be said. Is that all right? 
is cool with that because I, I want to teach a few things here. There's a few patterns for why I know my stuff is working and working very, very well. Um, and I think that th there's a few ways, uh, there's a few reasons. Um, some of it comes from just internal, right? And the way I approach myself on this stuff. First of all, can you guys hear me okay? You guys got me all right here? Yeah, okay, Dan said cool. Okay, just say it. All right, there's a few things for how I approach things individually in my, my own mentality, my mindset with this stuff. However, there's a few things though that for the way I approach the business, okay? I, I look at myself and I look at the business as two separate things. I mean, really, we're very similar. Uh, who's that rapper that said, I'm not a businessman, I'm a businessman. <laughs> who, I can't remember the rappers that said that. But I look at myself that way a little bit, like, right, I am the business man, <laughs> right, rather than a businessman. And so when you look at, anyway, I, it's gonna kill me, I can't remember who that was. Okay, in my business, I compete, right, on, on a lot of uh, differences, right? Um, I compete on differences, my, 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 uh, and I compete with strengths personally. When, when it comes to me though, as the attractive character, I compete with, with mostly just differences. It's not so much strengths, right? Someone's always better, faster, stronger than me personally. Someone's always quicker. Someone's always a better writer. So I don't compete with strengths when it comes to my personality. I, I really compete with differences. When it comes to the business though, it really is mostly just strengths as far as my business goes, when it comes to offers, it's back to differences though. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense at all what I'm saying there, but uh, there's a relationship there though. You guys got to get used to. Um, one of the reasons why my stuff does well and one of the reasons why, one of the reasons why my stuff has accelerated so quickly is because uh, there's a few different principles that I follow. Um, guys, if I'm going to go, I'm the worst cook ever, but if I'm going to go bake a cake, how do you bake a cake? Just tell me right now, what are, what are some of the things that you use to go bake a cake? How do you go do that? What are some of the things that I do? What's the process? How do I bake the actual cake? How do I put it together? Someone said it's con. Someone said Jay-Z. Someone said Kanye. So I don't know. It's one of those two. But, all right. How do I bake a cake? I go in. Right, I'm going to have the similar kind of things. I'm going to go in. I'm going to get flour. I'm going to get sugar. I'm going to get eggs. Right. That's as far as I know. It's probably some chocolate in there somewhere. Some I, I, I don't know. I really have no idea how to bake a cake. But there's a way to do it. Right. There's a process to baking a cake. There's a process of putting it in the oven for how long it's going to be in there. There's a process behind that. Okay. How am I going to go and how am I going to get um, good at uh, at a sport? I'm actually looking at Brazilian Jiu Jitsu right now. I really want to fight Russell. <laughs> he and I want to roll, and I'm stoked about it. Okay. And so I'm going to go take Jiu Jitsu for the next year, and then he I'm I'm going to try and choke him out, and he's going to try and choke me out and be fun. Okay. But there's a process for that. There's a process to learn that kind of sport and discipline. There's a process for me to go learn how to freaking walk, right? There's a process for me to learn how to be on the internet. There's a process. For, and when you understand that, right, people are like, oh, yeah, no, I totally get it. But that's not the way people act. And when I look on the internet and I see what people are doing out on the internet, most of the time they're just doing stuff. And that's better than doing nothing. But they're not adhering to any kind of framework. There's no pattern in what they're following. There's not a framework. There's no system. There's no format or formula. They're just kind of doing stuff. And because of that, it's really easy for me to look at me like, oh, yeah, that's why you're failing. Right? And I don't mean that in a negative way. That's not negative at all. It's just the truth. Okay? Frameworks are what save you in this game. Frameworks are what save you in anything in life. And funny enough, when, I, when you look at like, like I, I call it art versus science, right? There's more science to this game than there is art which should be very relieving for you to hear. There is more science than art, which means I don't need to be as much of a creative genius as much as I do just learning some of the frameworks that make success happen, okay? And I'm not just talking mentality stuff, okay? Mentality stuff, I have a hard time with that sometimes. When I say mindset training, that's such an overused term. It gets fluffy and I don't really like it, okay? But like, learn the framework, right? Learn the process. Learn how to go and actually okay, if I'm going to do a webinar, if I'm going to make an ebook, if I'm going to write something, if I'm going to do that, if I'm going to be an Olympic skier, if I'm going to go and I'm going to learn how to ride a bike, if I'm going to, anything in life has a pattern for success, right? Oh, first, right? And when you understand that that's how, really, it's like 80% framework, 20% art, which is awesome. It's so relieving when I finally realized that and understood that. So what I'm looking for when I go funnel hack somebody, what I'm looking for when I go and I'm looking at an influencer and I'm seeing how they're behaving, I can close my eyes and I know, I see, this is why I can speak without notes. 
because in my, in my mind, in my brain, I can close my eyes and I can follow a framework inside of my head. And I know the next step, which means the decision-making power of what do I say next is kind of gone. I just know that now I need to be talking about this next thing. And now what's coming up, I know this. Okay, and now I need some testimonials. And I've told enough stories. Let me just dig back into my bag of stories. Which story would fit as a testimonial for that scenario best? Bam, that one, insert here. Okay, now it's next. Okay, let's go with call to action. Let's go here. Okay, in my head, I'm just following frameworks. That's the secret. When I'm building a funnel, it's the same process every freaking time, regardless of product, price, industry. It doesn't matter. It's the same process. And that's what people get stuck up on. Okay. I do a lot of coaching. I do a lot of coaching. I've already coached today for three hours. I think, um, okay. I do a lot of coaching and I'm about to go on for another hour and a half here, uh, soon. Um, uh, probably about 20 minutes here. Okay. And what's, what, what's frustrating for me is when somebody thinks that they are an exception to that rule, you are not, you are not. Okay. And what happens is when somebody believes they're an exception to the rule, what I've noticed is that they don't believe that it's 80% framework, 20% art. It's not, they, they, that's why this is the science of selling online. I explicitly took out the term art because I want, that's why the name of this group is the science of selling online. Okay. Because it's more science than art. It's a little bit of creativity of your own flair. That's it. But it's not the majority. And when somebody thinks it's the majority, it's when they fail. Okay. When I'm funnel hacking somebody, I am not just funnel hacking. What products are they selling? How are they selling them? I'm looking to see the framework that they introduce the product to the market with. I'm looking for the framework. I'm looking, what's the pattern? What's the formula? What's the step by step by step? Do this, then this, then this, then this, then add a little bit of flair of your own at the end. Okay. It's so relieving to understand that. It's so relieving to feel and know and understand that because it means I don't have to be what college was trying to teach me to be. It's actually the exact opposite. I don't need to be a creative genius to have a lifestyle and success off of the internet or any business in general. Okay. I don't need to be a creative genius. I don't need to make something totally brand new, completely prolific, something that nobody's ever seen before in order to actually make money. That's not true. It's the biggest fallacy ever in the game. And that's been the weirdest thing for me to realize. Hindsight's 2020, right? But forever, as I looked backwards, I'd be like, oh man, and then I'm starting to see those patterns. Forever, the issue was I walked around for years, my friends, trying to answer the question, what product should I sell? When all along the market was trying to tell me what it wanted me to sell it. Okay, that's all I'm trying to figure out all the time. So when I'm going in and I'm funnel hacking somebody and I'm looking at that red ocean and I'm stepping back and I'm saying, oh, interesting. What I'm doing is I'm trying to see what product the market wants me to give it. I don't even have to have that answer. I don't even have to know what the product is. I don't even have to know. Guys, when I, I was the number one affiliate for this book, right? Right? And a lot of it was because of that offer that I gave you guys. I didn't know what the offer was going to be when I started selling it. You all gave me the answer. Did you just hear what I said? I sold 375 books. You all gave me the answer. We decided together what it is that you wanted to include in the offer when you bought this book through my link. I just gave it back to you. The same principle is true for your own products, not just affiliate stuff, not just if you're a coach, not just if you're info product. I don't care. Okay. There is such a smaller amount of art and creative genius in this game than people realize. So what you need to get good at is learning to be a detective and see the patterns. The reason I got to be a good funnel builder and so fast at click funnels is because I can close my eyes and in my head, I see the framework for the perfect webinar funnel. I see the, all the elements in a perfect webinar script. I know exactly right in my head. I can see the framework of an awesome epic, um, upsell video. I know the framework in that script. It's a framework. I don't have to come up with what to say. I just need to know. I need to have elements to talk about that, 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 that plug it in, play, bam, done. Okay. You guys getting this? It's not just a trial close. I'm actually asking. Okay. Because what I want you to understand is that it is the science of selling online, which is the name of the group. And it is the name for a reason. We talked about, we talked, I was going to be, it was going to be the science and art of selling online, but I took out art because I don't want you to think it, the game's easier than you might be thinking it is. It is easier than you're thinking it is. Okay. And it, it took me like three years, like 17 business tries to actually understand that. 
because everybody in college and all the books and all these gurus and all the people around, a lot of them were asking me, not all of them. There were one or two people particularly who were not. And they were teaching me the correct way to do it. And when they were teaching me to use the market to gather the data on what to sell rather than trying to come up with it on my own. There was nothing but just like no input, zero, 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 zero. Like I, I could not come up with something. I was like, I'm not really a creative genius kind of guy, which might shock a lot of you guys. Like Steven, no, you're totally are. You're this crazy creative guy. I'm not, I'm following a pattern. That's it, right? So I know that there's a few products coming out here soon that I'm excited to get out to you guys. There's a few products coming out here soon that I haven't announced yet that I'm really pumped about, but I am using the market and I'm asking things in a way to start slowly pulling out and harvesting. That's what they want. That's what they want. That's what they want. And you are literally building the very offer that I hope to give back to you. Now I'm going to go make the product obviously and the product's going to be freaking epic. But as far as what it is, you should not be doing a lot of that in like deep dive work on your own. In fact, it's better if you don't. It's way better if you don't. It's far better if you don't. And the reason is, is because you don't fill your own wallet. I've said that multiple times, but like your opinion doesn't matter. You're not the one buying your thing. So if you're like, oh, Stephen, I don't know if I like that product yet. You're not the one buying it, right? You don't fill your own wallet. So like you got to get out of your head and think back like, all right, fine. Like oh, what, what do they want? What does the market want? What, what is it that they're asking? Give that. Learn what that is. Figure out what that is. What are they asking? What are they telling me that they want? And then you just be in guys, the game gets so easy when you realize that it's just about learning the frameworks. So if there's some piece of advice I could give besides that, it would be this choose frameworks, choose models to go learn that result in cash as a rule, not an exception. Do you hear what I just said? I am not interested in learning. And this is the other reason why I've been doing so well with stuff because I don't want to learn frameworks and rules and, and science of things where I am an exception to the rule and that's what causes money. I only go learn. It's the reason why I don't go learn Facebook ads, guys, is because for me to learn the framework to make a successful Facebook ad, I could go learn it. I know I could. I know I could be really good at it, okay? But I don't go study that personally and that might be your thing, which is great, but I don't. Because there are sometimes these little tricks I feel like I have to go play in order to make it work super well. I don't want to learn the tricks. I want to learn the rules that result in cash, not exceptions to the rule that result in cash. So go learn frameworks. That's the reason why I obsess over webinars so much. As a rule, if I do this and I tell an origin story and I come up with a good hook and I got the origin story, all right, it's a, which is a great intro. Then I got three secrets which attack your vehicle, internal, and external related false beliefs. And I go through and I have some testimonials there. Then I go through a stack slide where I present the actual offer. Then I go through closes where I tell reasons why you should act now. And I go through and I put that in a thing called a webinar funnel. It, as a rule, typically results in cash. And because of the numbers and because of the way it works out, they're very easy to make profitable. So I was like, when I saw that, and when I started seeing that, when I was working at ClickFunnels, and I watched Russell do that. I was like, huh, we launched things so quickly there. I started asking the question, that wasn't even like done yet. How come that worked? That, that actually wasn't, huh, that actually didn't look visually that good yet. Why, why did he make a million dollars in three weeks on that? Interesting. Why is it that he, he had 8,000 opt-ins on that page? Like half of it's broken. How come it still worked? Right. And it was, it was with Facebook ads, people who probably didn't even really know who he is that much. Like, how did that work over there? It's because he has frameworks in his head that result in cash as a rule, not an exception to a rule. I do not learn frameworks that where I have to have an exception to a rule in order to make money. And too many times people are trying to look for the flash in the pan, right? The little thing that is cool, that's fleeting, but it's fleeting and it leaves. And that's why it doesn't work because you spend all this time, right? Those things work as like little tiny add-ons when you already know the base thing that causes money. When you already know, is this making sense? When you learn that rule, that framework to the rule, when you learn the system, the formula that causes cash rather than an exception to the rule that causes cash, right? The only time where I can learn that is when I already have this base down and I've got that 80% down. Then I can go learn that a little 20% real fast, right? Take fast and quick money off the top. Um, uh, and then I could take fast and quick money right off the top and uh, then it gets super easy, super, super easy. So anyways, I'm, I'm really stoked about this and I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to get across here. Stop learning flash in the pan stuff. Stop learning things where it's like, it doesn't totally, that's not, that, that doesn't result in cash as a rule. So I don't study things that are like, I don't study things that are like, 
how should I say this? I study becoming an attractive character. I study offer creation. I study sales itself. What is the psychology of sales that makes sales happen? The internet could die tomorrow and I know I'm going to be okay because of the framework about sales that I know that's in my head, right? I know that someone could put me on a stage right now and I will over deliver and I will probably sell more than everybody else that's on there who's been selling for a long time but doesn't have a framework and hasn't been studying this. Those are bold claims and I totally get it and I understand that. You have to understand though, but that, that's the reason why. It's because of the framework. It's because I'm just following it in my head. Okay, I'm only, in this one funnel way challenge thing that I've been doing, right? Funny enough, looking back, I'm only supposed to be going like 20 to 30 minutes on them. I'm not trying to go a long time. That's not my goal. But there's so many little pieces that I'm trying to help people understand when it comes to learning these frameworks and understanding that it's more about science than it is art. It's more about understanding formulas that cause cash than it is learning exceptions to rules that cause cash. I'm I've been going for like 50 minutes in them. And, the re and what I'm doing, literally, I'm just following a script in my head. I know where I'm leading it. I know where I'm able to actually follow a little bit of a rabbit tangent, but how to bring it back in. I know, and it's only come because of like, insane sickening volume right the amount of time just doing it mat time okay time on the mat how much time have i spent on that mat how much right sometimes i can't remember who told the story it told a story about how um you know take take two different fighters right uh or even people at the gym uh, and I, can't, I can't remember what the story exactly was i remember the principle and what he was using an example so take two people at the gym right two people at the gym person a goes to the gym and they get to the gym, they might go to the water fountain, right? They go to the water fountain and they're like, all right, all right, I, I, this is, um, they go to the water fountain and they're like, um, they talk to somebody for a little while, right? Then they go to the, um, then they go over to the, um, uh, uh, I don't know, like an elliptical machine and they like set up their settings for a while. Um, then they go and, and they'll, they'll be on there for a few minutes, kind of warming up. Then they'll go and they'll talk to somebody else for a while. Then maybe they'll go over to the restroom and the locker room for a little while. Then they'll come back over, right? And then they do like one or two sets, something else, and they leave. That's person A. Person B comes in. They actually spend a little bit less time, but it's like it's so hyper-focused. It's ridiculous. Okay, They're in there. They're in there. They're working hard. They're extremely sore. Every set, they're almost dropping it. They're going to failure every single time. Who's going to be more successful? Right. Obviously, the person who's going to be more successful is the person who's like killing it. Okay. I'm trying to get mat time. I want as many times on the mat as possible for me to just be actually, actually swinging to hit the ball, not prepping to hit the ball. Okay. And so that's why I go do things. That's why I have this. I, I have a con. I, I, there's like these little mantras in my head. One of them is mat time. And I was like, right. One of the people, one of the people on my web, on a webinar yesterday, they did not get as many people on as they were supposed to, which kind of sucked. Um, but, and I was like, you know, what? I could call it off, but in my head, mat time, that's all I said to myself and no questions asked. I just stepped forward and just did it mat time. And I just did it because I need more time on the mat. I need more time moving forward on it. I am perfecting my craft It's hours and hours and hours of doing the thing. Okay. And too many times people are like, well, I did it once and it didn't really work. Well, like, yeah, it's because you freaking did it once, right? How many times did it take you to learn to ride a bike? Okay. You got to, anyway, you guys getting this? You have to study frameworks. You have to study it, which is awesome. And it's debunking a lot of the mystic. I hate the whole mystic and mentality that people are promoting about entrepreneurship, right? Where people like looking off into the sunset and they're like, they believe, I don't know, they're like God's gift to humanity and they're there to change the world. Yeah, they can change the world, but frankly, they're just making value and people are paying them for that value, okay? Learn the framework behind it. Don't be allured by the art behind it. Don't be allured by trying to become this creative thing and adding your own flair in. That's actually the way to failure. Just learn from people who are doing it and have done the thing. That's it. Learn from the people who are doing it and have done the thing and have done the thing long enough that they've created their own frameworks. Okay, my wife and I were talking about this two or three nights ago. It's kind of fun, she and I are sitting around the kitchen table and uh, we were talking about it. And I said, I said, one of the things that has made me successful with this is that I realized that, that when, I, I, I realized that, um, um, I needed to follow the person who has the biggest cheese, right? Who actually has been doing the thing super, super long. And when I go and I find that person, and I see the, the people who have the biggest cheese, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the person who has dived in to yesteryear's experts 
and they're super crazy. This is the reason I follow Russell. Listen to what I'm about to say, okay? This has been one of the biggest shortcuts ever, and it's the reason why I've only been playing the game for like really like four years, and you all know who I am. <laughs> this is it right here. I went and I found, and I, I, I became cognizant of this um, probably about a year and a half ago, okay? What I did is I went and I found, and I started paying attention to people who consumed yesteryear's experts like an animal, okay? Straight up animal, just a freaking beast. And they, they consumed it, and they learned yesteryear's experts, the frameworks that they were using. And what happened was when they consumed them and they became an expert, they got so good at, the, at yesteryear's experts and their frameworks that they started creating their own versions of the framework. That's what you're looking for. Okay, I'm not just looking for somebody who understands that uh, 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 20 years ago, this is how it's happening, right? Or 10 years ago, this is how it was, ha how it was happening, right? I don't care if it's business or some skill you're learning or a, a hobby. I'm looking for somebody to go follow and learn from who has been in the game so long or has consumed the game so much that they are literally producing their own frameworks that have equaled success. Because what it is, is it's a shortcut to having to learn yesteryear's experts, okay? And the frameworks that have come through. And I was talking to my wife about this and I was teaching this. I was like, that's, that's what the big secret has been. So when I go in and I'm, I'm learning and I want to go learn Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, okay? I want to go learn and fight. I, I want to be, I want to do that. And so what I did is I went and I found somebody, right? I talked to Russell. Russell's huge into that sphere. I talked to somebody who knows that area. And my question to him is who has the biggest cheese? That's actually what I asked him. And he knew what I was talking about because he knows that's how I run. And I said that. And he goes, he said, there's a guy you need to go learn from. And I, he said, who are you looking at? And I was like, this person, this person, this person. He's like, they're good. That, that person's great over there too. But he said, you need to go learn from this guy because he's been in the game so freaking long. And, and I, 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 I understood immediately what he was talking about. Okay, You're trying to find the freaking Yodas. You're trying to find the ninjas. You're trying to find the individuals and the people who are like, they've been in it so, so, so long that they've been producing their own frameworks successfully. Okay, That's the reason why there's stick figures in Russell's books. And that was the sign to me that I knew I needed to follow him like crazy. He has distilled down literally dozens of experts down to his own stuff and then is producing his own frameworks. So now when it comes to marketing and funnel education, my coach, I only listen to Russell. That's it. When it comes down to listening to like actually hardcore like sales scripts and sales tactics, I only listen to Grant Cardone. Why? Because that dude's got mat time. Holy crap. Okay. When it comes to building systems in my business that make things run on autopilot, I only listen to Alex Sharfin. Why? Because that dude has got mat time and he has followed other experts and he has his own frameworks that he's developed. Okay, the framework is what not only makes you cash, but is also a symbol that that individual typically knows what the heck they're talking about. Okay. Why do you guys like following me? It's because I like to do those funnel drawings, right? A lot of you guys find, found me that way. I like to, and I go in and I distill down listening to all these people and seeing it and coaching over 1,800 people personally in this process for two or three years, okay? That's a lot of mat time. And so I see the patterns that cause success. I see the patterns that cause failure, right? And which ones? And the ones that routinely cause failure is the art ones. And the ones that routinely cause success is the people who take their emotions out of it, realize that they are not their feelings, get past their feelings, and they just do the science of it. They're like, you know what? I didn't want to publish, but I'm, just, I'm freaking doing it because he said to. And they're just doing that. And they're just following the people who have their own frameworks. And they're just doing the success and science-based ones. You guys getting this? Cool. Rock on. Go watch what I'm doing because that's how I execute. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Boom! Just try to tell me you didn't like that. Hey, whoever controls content controls the game. Want to interview me or get interviewed yourself? Grab a time now at stevejlarson.com.